right, Lucas, I'm gonna show you how to do my boiled isalo. You're gonna need tomato sauce. Here I have potatoes, onions, and green peppers. I dice them up. I actually have three potatoes here, one full green pepper and half an onion, because I don't love a ton of onion, but I love the flavor. Sasson, I'll show you. And then I've got my uh, chicken. So I froze this on 10-2. They're for my chicken tacos. So they're already seasoned with um, my chicken taco seasoning, which I use uh, Merito Pollo. And uh, that's the first thing. So I took my crock pot. I'm going to get this done in four hours. So I put it on high. If I was going to do it low, it would take probably about six or seven hours just to kind of cook. But I sprayed the inside with Pam. I put uh, one layer of chicken. I'm going to do this in two layers. Uh, I usually do this, actually, believe it or not, with chicken quarters. Um, you can do it with um, just legs and thighs. You can do it with whatever you want. So basically, I put one layer, and then I'm going to take my vegetables, and I'm going to uh, put them in here on my first layer. And since I'm only doing two layers, I'm going to put kind of a lot. I'm going to obviously do half of this. So I'm going to come in like this. Then I'm going to come back with my tomato sauce, and I'm just going to drizzle it. I'm not using this whole can. I'm just drizzling it here because um, that's what gives it that nice red juicy flavor. You don't want to put a ton. You just want to put enough. That's a balance you're going to have to go with. All right, so there's my first layer. Then I'm going to come back with one packet of sasson and I'm going to uh, dabble it on top. Pack of sasson. So I'm just going to take half of it and make sure that all my vegetables get it. If you wanted to put a whole pack, you could. And actually, you know what? I'll just do a whole pack just so it's not confusing for you. But there's my thing. So that was a whole packet of sasson, all right? And my chicken. I'm gonna come back and I'm just gonna put the rest of my chicken on here. Cause like I said, I'm doing two layers and I'm just going to kind of spread that out just like that. I'm gonna come in with the rest of my vegetables cause I'm only doing two layers just like so okay i'm gonna come back with my tomato sauce just like so <coughs> and then i'm going to come back with the last packet of sasson. So you'll notice I've got about half a can left of tomato sauce. So I use about half a can. If I was making a full batch in this whole crock pot, I would have used the whole can. But I'm gonna come back with one more packet of sasson, so and I ended that's up it. Putting just a little bit more tomato sauce on top. I used a three quarter cup, or I'm sorry, three quarters of this can, and then I threw it away. Uh, and then what I did is I came back and I filled up this can with half water, and I'm just going to. Pour it. I'm not pouring it over the top because I want all that tomato sauce to kind of cook. So it's about a quarter can of water that I'm going to use. But all this is going to do is just kind of keep that nice juice. I'll do it all. I don't care. It's going to keep the nice juice in there. All right. So now I've got my tomato sauce sitting on, my sasson, all my stuff on layer. I'm going to put the lid like this. And uh, it is on high. And you'll notice it is 2 p.m. And I'm guessing by about 530 it'll be done. As you can see, the juice has basically taken over the tomato sauce, and there's our chicken. It's boiling in here, so I'm going to make sure it's cooked. And it is. It still has a little bit to go, but... Oh man, if you could smell it, it's legit.